Friday prayers at Al-Aqsa Mosque in occupied East Jerusalem have a special significance for Palestinians during Ramadan. It's the second holiest site in Islam. But Hajj Zubaydi from the West Bank city of Hebron risks getting arrested or shot by Israeli forces every time he wants to go there. It's all because of this 700-kilometer-long Israeli wall. I can't say I wasn't afraid while crossing. I was, but there was no other way. For us as Palestinian people, Al-Aqsa is our soul. The wall cuts off most Palestinians living in the West Bank from areas where Israelis live. By building it, Israel has effectively annexed East Jerusalem. The wall started going up in 2002. The Israeli Supreme Court approved its construction as a temporary measure needed for security. But in 2004, the International Court of Justice ruled it violates Palestinian human rights and supports the expansion of illegal Jewish settlements. Israeli human rights group Beit Salam has also condemned it. It says the wall restricts Palestinian movement, splits up families and communities, and cuts Palestinians off from work, education, medical care, and their farmland. The wall is dotted with checkpoints, and Palestinians need permits to pass through them. But Hajd says Israeli police, with few exceptions, bar passage to all men under 45. It can even be hard for men over 45, like Shauki Warasna. The guards can pull your permission at any time and stop you from crossing. There's no guarantee you can cross into Jerusalem. It depends on their mood. Shauki used to climb over the wall like Hajd. Then he got a permit nearly six years ago. It was a long process, but even after he got permission, it was withdrawn for six months, and he had to sue to get it back. With the permit back in his hands, he hopes to make it to Al-Aqsa on Tuesday for the Eid al-Fitr prayer, which ends the month of fasting. But like he said, it depends on the mood of the Israeli police. Sarah Balter, TRT World.